What's up guys, Vernon Sims here for another speed build video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And on today's video, I'm going to be doing the very first video of a video series I'm going to do of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's homes. And the first home I'm building here is Kenya Moore's Moore Manor. Um, the reason I decided to do this house first was because her house was honestly one of the best homes out of all the ladies. Um, I must say second place would have to be Sheree Whitfield. Her home is her home is just humongous. If you haven't seen it, look it up here on YouTube. It's huge. But I want to first start with Kenya Moore's home because I gravitated towards I, gra I gravitate towards her home more and I and I identify with her home more because I love contemporary modern homes. And I also love her interior too. I love the interior of her home. Check out her video as well. Um, I also saw a lot of the materials that were very easy to find here in The Sims. You know, usually a lot of times you have to, uh, you know, um, you know, make lemons and lemonade when it comes to trying to replicate a house because you have, you do have restrictions, you know, when it comes to The Sims. They don't really have everything you need, you know, you know, in a perfect world it would, but you know, um, so immediately right off the bat when I saw an image of her home, I thought, oh wow, this would be great because I recognize some of the things that The Sims already has. So. Of course, per usual, I don't know what the inside of her home looks like, guys, okay? So, I just, the only thing that I, that was inspired by and I tried my hardest to replicate as best I could was the exterior of her home, okay? So, the interior does not look like anything like Kenya Moore's house, I'm pretty sure, because I have no clue what it looks like. Well, I mean, I do from videos of her doing a tour, but I don't know the specific, you know, floor plan and layout and all that all that stuff you know if you want to be creepy go right ahead do all that and, and build it for you build the house from the ground up yourself but i'm not going to be that creepy okay i just want to i just like building the exterior for the most part and showing that off and replicating that now of course um this is a three car garage uh home which is really cool um one thing I don't like about this house, so I don't like the entryway. The entryway is not all that grand. I, I love, a, not necessarily a too grand of an entryway, but I like an entryway that's well balanced. And Kenya Moore's home's entryway is not all that balanced. It, the door, front door is on the side of the house, as you can see. There's not really much going on. I, I like I like a well balanced grand entryway, if you will. But it's okay, it's something different, you know? That's probably the only thing I don't really like too much about the house. Um, I tried to make this home, I tried to. I tried my hardest to like eyeball it, measure it as much as I could. But, um, cause I could have easily made this home like a lot bigger, <laughs> um, as you can see from the lot size here. But I made it this small because I tried my hardest to eyeball it and nail it as much as I could. So there's not a lot of space down here in the kitchen as you can see, it's really tight, you know. Um, I should have not put the furniture pieces there, I should have just made the first level all kitchen. But, but I thought about it and I was just like, no, I don't want to do that because... I mean, you don't, you know, you don't want to have to run upstairs just to, I, I'm one of those people who, everything has to make sense, okay? Even though this is a game and it's not real life, the floor plans in my game, in the game, it still has to make sense, okay? For It's for my, it's for my psych, okay? It's for me. This is for me, not for anybody else. It has to make sense for me. And you want it to make sense for your Sims. Why wouldn't you, you know? Um, because when you, when they need to do stuff, you don't want your Sims to have to run all the way upstairs, the third level or whatever. So I try to make sense with my floor, with, with everything that I build. I try to make sense of everything. I try to map out the rooms, how I want everything to be. I try to make sense of it all, just like in real life, right? Um, but, you know, um, it's, you know, it's tight down there. But it's okay. It's fine. It still works there's still room you know um this isn't for a family of five you know this home is like built for i want to say maybe a max of three people okay great for like you know that bachelor bachelor or bachelorette great for that person a great starter home you know um but you know definitely not for like a full-size family okay so anyway um this was so much fun building i had a really good time i i, I really i mainly built this home because i wanted to play with the terrain i don't really play too much with with the terrain i don't really explore much with the terrain and i'm starting to get off into that i'm 
starting to just explore more in the game and be different as much as I can. So I, and her home is in a ditch in real life. Her home is literally like in a ditch. Like she has to drive down a hill just to get to her house, okay? Um, if you're a fan of the show, if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. So that's mainly, that's one of the main reasons why I built this home too. I love the fact that it was down in the ditch and I could, I could put the, you know, built the ditch in there in the game and put the ditch down there. It, 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 it allows so much privacy and that's what I like about it. It's, it's super different, you know? You don't really see too many homes that are in a ditch, okay? Um, so I was really excited about that. But um, I did see from her uh, tour video that she gave um, that she loved a lot of purple, lavender, like, you know, like, um, like a lot of whites, a lot of marbles, white, gray marbles and purple. That was a lot of her color scheme in the video it was very it was very glitzy and glammy and i tried to i tried to somewhat do that in this house too i tried to do incorporate the white lavender you know i tried to contemporary it up with the furniture and the appliance everything i tried to try my best to do that so that's pretty much all i have to say about the house you guys i hope you enjoy and thanks so much for tuning in please 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 make sure you download the house if you like it in the sims gallery and i will catch you guys on the next video all right enjoy guys bye